briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2009, a significant case, Nihawan v. Holder, found its way to the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit. The case revolved around the legal interpretation of federal immigration laws concerning aggravated felonies committed by foreigners and how to determine their eligibility for deportation. The chief question at hand was whether an attempted burglary conviction should be classified as a violent felony under the Armed Career Criminal Act, ACCA. Central to making such a determination, the court had to use a legal analysis methodology known as the categorical method, which involves comparing the facets of a specific offense to the generalized definition of the crime. All this was happening against a backdrop where federal immigration law defined aggravated felonies quite broadly. The law encompasses an array of offenses ranging from smuggling illegal immigrants to falsifying documents and not appearing for sentencing for a serious crime. Entering the fray was a petitioner who was a foreigner, having migrated to the United States in 1985. His legal troubles began in 2002 when he was indicted for a series of fraud-related offenses. Despite the jury not being able to agree on the amount of loss caused by the defendant, he subsequently conceded to having inflicted a loss upwards of $100 million. Consequently, he was given a 41-month prison sentence and fined to the tune of a staggering $683 million in restitution. In delivering their verdict, the court undertook a circumstance-specific approach to determine whether attempted burglary could be classified as a violent felony under the ACCA. The same interpretation was also applied to give meaning to the fraud and deceit provision of the federal immigration law. Crucially, the court concluded that the $10,000 threshold, distinctly outlined in federal immigration law for aggravated felonies, was tied to the specifics of an offense and not an element of the crime itself. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.